Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today I'll be demonstrating how to create this partial stencil design and how to create a floral um, spray, all from home. Very, very easy. It's just one stick that goes into the cake and I'll show you how. So to begin, we'll need some cakes. I've got my eight inch cakes that I've bought from Kohl's. I bought four of them because it was just so much easier and I'm filling them in with buttercream. This buttercream recipe is one that I like to make from home and I'll have the recipe in the description box below for you guys. I like to stack four cakes together and I have taken off the top so I've just uh, leveled them off. And then I'll create a crumb coat. This is a thin layer of frosting that goes all around the cake trapping in any crumbs. You might find that if you do buy the cold cake they do kind of dip down. Um, they're not completely shaped nice and cylindrical so you will have to add a little bit extra buttercream into your crumb coat. Smooth it out, bring that lip of frosting towards the middle and then refrigerate until it's nice and firm. Mine takes usually about 20 minutes in the fridge or you could pop it in the freezer for 10 minutes, that works as well. Once it's nice and firm you can apply that final layer of frosting. I decided to go white so I haven't added any gel food colour to my frosting. And because there is vegetable shortening in there, it's really nice and pale and smooth. Smooth it out again, pop it into the freezer for about 10 minutes and then cut off that top lip. I've used a really sharp knife that's been dipped into boiling hot water and that way it glides through the um, top lip a lot easier and you get a cleaner cut. Remove the excess and then you can just use a spatula or something to really make sure that it's all neatened up at the very top and there's no frilly sections. Take your desired stencil, hold it down in the middle and then apply some buttercream and run it nice and smoothly and thinly over the pattern. You can use pins to pin this stencil down to your cake but because I've only really gone on in a little section I decided not to go on with the pins. The buttercream was enough to hold it down. Spread it to the areas that you'd like. You can have some empty just for extra interest. Smooth it all down and then take a blush brush and some edible rose gold dust. Pat it all over your buttercream or you could even do just in a few little sections here and there like I have here. And then once you're happy with the coverage, gently peel back that stencil. I am absolutely fanatic about the look of a stencil that looks the same color as the base of the cake. I don't know why, I think it just looks really, really elegant. You can clean up the board at the base and if you really wanted to, you could add some uh, masking tape at the board as well. That way it doesn't mess up your cake board at all. Take some fake flowers, cut them down to about nine centimeters. So you have about a nine centimeter wire hanging and then take some floral tape and some floral wire as well and attach the two together right at the base of the rose. Basically what we want to do here is create a really long um, stem for each flower and sometimes your flowers already come really really long anyway with a super long wire so you can skip that step um, if they already do but just in case they don't this is how you would add length. Take two of your roses and then add them together spinning that floral uh, tape around and each time you position a new flower kind of think of a spray don't really bunch them all together in the same kind of length have some lower and some higher and this is basically what's going to create that elongated look of a floral trail leading down the cake for the very base I've taken some of the flowers and I've bent the wire and that way they stick out a lot more towards the end and it's literally that easy each one gets attached individually with some floral tape and you just want to make sure that they're all positioned in a way that they're spread out. I've also bought some of these fillers that are also fake which is awesome. Give them a bit of a bend and then wrap that floral tape around to attach those two. I've applied two on either side I believe and that's where that floral wire really comes in handy because these only have very short stems. Once your spray is complete, you can trim off the wires that they're all ending evenly. 
and then feed that through a straw to make it food safe. So basically you'll be applying the straw into the cake rather than the wires and the floral tape. Cut it down just a little bit taller than the actual wires. See where you'd like to position it on your cake and then press it in on a diagonal if you can a diagonal leading up and that way it doesn't fall out of the cake. If you were to press it just straight through it could potentially lean forward and the weight could cause it to fall out. That's why you want to insert it on a diagonal. Move the flowers around as you like just until they're arranged in a nice way and optional you can add a little ribbon at the base of your cake as well and secure it on there with some double-sided tape or adhesive. And that's it! That is how you create a fun spray of flowers using fake flowers, some wires, and a monotone stencil effect with some edible luster dust. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a go. If you do, hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can see your awesome creation as well. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.